Hello! This video is going to show you how to do a claim acquisition using the new map viewers available on Mineral Titles Online. First step you're going to want to do is navigate to www.mtonline.gov.bc.ca and then you're going to choose the log on button. The log on button is going to bring you to a page where you have to use your BCEID to log on. So I'll log in here with my BCEID. Uh, click next. Now the first page that pops up is usually a couple messages for us. Um, usually take the time to read those, but today for speed purposes we're going to zoom right through. Click next. Now here uh, you want to choose the tab that concerns the type of mining that you want to do. So here um, I'm going to choose the mineral claim. And then under the mineral claim tab, the mineral claim registration or acquisition uh, button. So here you'll notice that there's two uh, cell input methods. So there's using an online map selection or input cell IDs. We're going to cover input cell IDs later on in the video. Under this, you have to agree to this. So this is um, referring to Section 40 of the Mineral Tenure Act. Uh, so I'll let you read that when you want to do your cell claim acquisition. And click Next. Uh, next opens up a window uh, with the common web mapping viewer. So that's a new move new viewer available on Mineral Titles Online. So uh, we need to see the MTO grid to do cell acquisitions. And you need to know uh, where you want to do a cell acquisition. So I know a title that's nearby where I want to go. So I'm going to go for gold here and go, go near Barkerville. So go. I know that title is near Barkerville. Let's zoom out a little bit. Now here we see a number of different leases or claims. Um, to know what each one is symbolized by, I'm going to open up the legend. Um, so to do a claim acquisition, obviously, we need to find an area that isn't already claimed. Uh, right next to Kangaroo Creek here. So we have different ways to select these cells. Uh, these are the cells. This is the MTO grid here uh, with this red dotted um, grid. So I'll actually close that, and now you can see here the MTO grid shows up. And to select cells, you need to go up here in the left-hand corner. You can select by polygon, select by a box. So I'm going to select by polygon. So I'm going to click uh, around the Kangaroo Creek here, go down there, down there. And then double-click to finish the selection. Now here on the right panel, you'll see that there is all the features, all the boxes that I have selected. Uh, if you hover your mouse over each one, you'll notice that a uh, highlight happens, so a yellow highlight there. You can notice how it goes. All right. Now you can, if you're not happy with your selection, you can either choose to clear all, or you can unselect by a box at a time. So I'm going to choose that, unselect this box there. I didn't want that. I didn't want that one there. So you get the idea. Now, uh, one thing to keep in mind is that you do have to have all of your cells connected. So when you when you're doing that, um, looking at the legend is a good idea to see if you're on a reserve or not. So here we can clearly see that there's no no reserves underneath my the cells that I'm I'm choosing to to choose here. So no registration or conditional or historic. We seem to be all good on that. So. Now that we know that, so I'm pretty happy with my title here. I'm going to click here to acquire title. I'm going to have to punch in a little quote, code just to make sure that I'm not a robot. And that code expires in a minute, so if you let it sit for too long, it's going to expire. You're going to have to type in a new code. Um, here you have to type in the name of your property. So this is where people type in their name. Sometimes they're a little bit more creative than others. And then here the percentage of people that are involved. So there can be more than one client involved, of course. So I'm going to do 100%. That's me, mineral titles. Click Next. And that is the synopsis of what I'm doing here. The date is effective, uh, all these cell IDs, um, and then the price. And then click Next. Then here we have the shopping cart. You can do many acquisitions at a time, of course. And then here's my payment method. So you can do online paying um, over the counter uh, or at the branch or whatnot. Click next, and that brings me to the payment page. Um, I am gonna go back to MT Online here and show you uh, the second method. So 
back to the mineral claim tab, back to the registration acquisition, uh, select input method. This time I'm going to go to input cell IDs. So this is um, this is a little bit more specific. So you need to know exactly which cell you want to acquire. So I kind of click there that I understand. So here we um, don't get the map right away because you need to know the ID of your cell. So uh, say I want to uh, purchase this one. Okay, and then enter the code. So notice that the last time I actually uh, got a bunch of different cells, but this time I'm only getting one because I don't want to spend a whole bunch of time uh, punching stuff in. So click next. So that is my one cell. And you, you have to know exactly the, the name of the cell ID. So and click next. And there's the price there, and go through the same steps. Now that is it on how to acquire a claim on Mineral Titles Online. If you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to contact us uh, at mineral.titles at gov.bc.ca by email or by telephone at 1-866-616-4999 in between the hours of 8.30 and noon and 1 to 4.30 Pacific Standard Time. Thanks for watching.